Welcome to the show, Cash Crypto Credit, where you find the latest financial news and information. But remember, this is not financial advice, just for your entertainment only. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. It's four easy steps to take your credit score up to 800. Now, I went from 350 to 800 in less than a year. First thing you want to do is go to annualcreditreport.com. Second thing you want to do is get credit comma. Third thing is dispute any incorrect information. And the fourth thing is get credit cards which is most important. So let me show you how to do this, guys. The first thing you do is download or go to annualcreditreport.com. It's free. You don't have to pay for anything. Don't let anyone charge you to get your credit report. This is a official website. It's from the uh, it's from the government recommended website, and this is how you request an annual credit report. You can go online. You can also um, call up, and the other thing you can do is uh, also request by mail. Now, mail is the best way to do it because you want to have a record of you requesting your credit reports. So I like to do everything by mail, and that's the address uh, right here. Go ahead and mail it, and you should get your credit uh, report within uh, 15 days by all of the three major uh, credit bureaus. Now, there's uh, three major Credit bureaus, this is uh, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Now, your credit score, which is called my FICO, is divided up into five different points. 35%, you have 10%, 15%, 10% and also uh, 30%. The most important is your 35%. That's your payment history, making your payments on time. That's going to be your largest uh, percentage is making your payments on time. Also, your second most uh, highest percentage is 30% is how long you have your, uh, excuse me, is the amount that you owe is 30%. Your length of credit history is 15%. And I wouldn't worry about that one too much. The next thing is 10% is new credit. And then credit mix is, you know, car loan, house loan, credit cards, different types of loans. Again, I wouldn't worry about those too much because the main ones are 35% and 30%. Those two is the most important. The other three... 10%, 10%, 15 um, It makes small difference in your credit reports. 35%, 30, 15, 10, and 10 credit mix. Now, as I was saying, the most important is payment history. 
your payment history is going to be your most important. Somewhat important is your length of credit history. Very important uh, is your credit utilization. That means how much you owe. And then somewhat is your credit mix. Less important is uh, recent credit. You know, those are when you get hard inquiries. Every time you uh, go for a new loan, you go get a hard inquiry. There's nothing you can do about that. Your credit score will go drop for a little while, just a few months, and then it'll go back up. So I wouldn't worry about that too much either because you're going to have to apply for credit to get credit. It's just the way it goes. That's the reason why, uh, you know, it doesn't stay on your report that long. You know, or if you open a bunch of new credits within a short time, your credit score will drop. Now, once you get this, how to dispute an error on your credit report? Well, what you're going to do is contact all the credit agencies that report to your credit bureaus. And you go dispute it. Anything that you think is not correct, your name, address, everything. And you go send that as a letter to the credit bureaus. You go send it to each credit bureau. Now you can go online and get a sample letter of how to do this. Just Google uh, sample letter to credit bureaus and they'll pop up on Google and you can use that template uh, real easy to do uh, once you find the errors on Experian, Equifax, TransUnion start writing the letters and dispute it any inaccuracies again if you see late payments in there that you didn't do go ahead and dispute it Here's a sample letter. Again, you can get one of these right off of uh, Google. Just Google it. And then just fill in the information. Just like you see here. You can put in your name. And then uh, also each report, you go change which report it is. So this is TransUnion. You can go ahead and change that on your next letter and put the next name on there. So if it's Experian, just go ahead and type Experian. Or if it's Equifax, just type in Equifax. So real easy to do. They must respond within 30 days. Uh, Go ahead and put Experian in there. And they have to respond within 30 days, your creditors. So if Verizon said, hey, you uh, was late, they have to dispute it within 30 days or they take it off your record. That's the most important thing is to dispute it. Make sure you say thank you. Being nice always help. You don't want to, like what they say, you attract more bees with honey than vinegar. So you, you want to be nice. You don't want to be mean. Now, the credit cards to get is a Capital One Platinum Secured Card. This is if you get no credit or uh, beginning credit platinum uh, credit card from Capital One is a really good one it's a secured credit card and I think it's one of the best ones to start off with also there's uh, Discovery and Quicksilver 
but I recommend doing Capital One and Discovery first. Also, I recommend on applying for Capital One first and then Discover. Discover It is another one. Uh, these credit cards have no annual fees. So these are good credit cards to build your credit or to get your credit score up. Also, what you look and do is get your credit line higher. Discover is really good because uh, you get a little bit of rewards back on that credit card. You get you know two percent back. You can read it later, but you get two percent back. Capital One, uh, they don't give you anything. If you don't have no history, these credit cards are the best. Or if you have bad credit. Because all of these are secured credit card. That means you have to put in the amount on the credit card. So you got to send in 500, 1,000, 200, wherever you want your credit limit to be. As I say, uh, Capital One doesn't offer anything. No rewards, but it's still a good card to start off. Because later on, you're not paying any annual fees, but later on, Capital Ones have some really good credit cards. Discover, give you some cash back rewards. Again, no annual fees. And if you want to throw a third one in there, you can do Quicksilver. You know, they give a little more rewards back, annual fee fees. Um, but I will start off uh, with fees three. In particular, um, maybe Quicksilver as a third choice because you get rewards. So, Capital One. Apply for that one first. It's a really good first credit card to get. And then also apply for the Discover. And you can apply for both of those on the same day, exact same time. Because sometimes they use different bureaus. But what I would do is put all your information in, open two tabs on your computer, and hit submit at the exact same time. Hit one, then right after you hit one, submit, hit the other one. So a little trick on that. Again, uh, you will get a hard in inquiry, and that will drop your credit score. But then it's going to go up. That's when it will drop it for a month or two. Just a few weeks, and then it started going back up. I went from 350 to 800 very quick. And only 67% of Americans have a good credit score, which is 800 to 850. Anything over 760 you're not going to get any better loans or any better deals. So the goal is 760 or above. 800 to 850, those guys just want to brag about their credit score. But it's not going to help you anymore. If you Google 760, some say 750. Once you get there, those will give you the best deal. And you have uh, considered very good credit. So that's it. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and hit that like button. See, see, see you later.